I know. It seems like I'm always getting out the curl yarn. But what I want you to show you today is with all of the 80s inspired looks is what we did back in the day. And I can remember this like it was yesterday. Well, the first thing we did was we took the back of our hair and the back of your hair was fairly you didn't curl it all the way up. You went about two-thirds the way up when you curled it under. And of course we used much smaller curling irons back then, but you know, you don't want to make yourself look like you're in the 80s just like it's 80s inspired. There's a big, big difference here. And um yeah, that curl's hot enough for sure. And we just went under. We didn't know nothing about no spiral curling back then, okay? And you might want to grab up a little higher just to make sure. Boy, when this thing grabs, it grabs tight. You know, and then don't get any fish hooks. Make sure everything is, is you know, you're all the way out to the ends on these things. And again, this one's going to be just, now again, two-thirds of the way up. I know watching someone curl their hair on YouTube is probably about the most boring thing you could do, but this really does go quick, especially with these large barreled curling irons. Get nice and hot, and I know everyone's curling with a flat iron these days, blah, 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 but to really get this look, trust me. Now we're not going to do the crunchy bang thing. This is more of the fair late 70s, early 80s than the uh, crunchy banged poison late 80s. Okay, there's a difference. The crunchy bangs is when you had the bangs like stacked up to here and they were like sprayed within an inch of their life and they were crunchy. This is very much more natural. We're just coming out of the straight look where we were all ironing our hair um, and going into this sort of Farrah flip. Now this last part here, I'm going to take all the hair uh, stuff right around my face and I'm going to curl it. I'm going to flip my hair curler around. Lovely. This is fun to do because the timing on this is a little late. So it takes a second for me to figure it out. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, there. And we'll curl that under. Now I got a fish hook there and I know it. I don't care. I'm going to grab this little piece which isn't curled. And I can just wrap it around. Just hold the end of the hair there. This twirling around gets hot. Of course, all curling irons get hot. We've all been burned by our curling irons. See the flip out there? A la Kate Jackson. And this lovely chunk here that's not curled at all. We oh, can fix that. Okay, we're at three minutes. I bet you I can do this in seven. Tons of time left over. Unless something goes ridiculously wrong, which after hitting myself in the eye with my mascara wand this morning is always a possibility. Okay. This, grab this hair. And then, oh, I know I'm just tugging right through it. I know it's it's got a knot that's always at the bottom right here, which tells me that it's definitely time to get a professional in on the job. Again, you're curling it under. This is the 80s. It's the end. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, it's sort of the end of disco. Fair faucet. I guess I was in. When were Charlie's Angels on? I know I was in seventh or eighth grade. So it was 1977. So this is like a 70s hairstyle more than an 80s hairstyle. Tomorrow, maybe I'll like a virgin it up and we can have a go back at Madonna because I know how to do that too. All right, now we're getting to the front and this is where the critical part is. Okay, this is where everything switches from down to back. I know this sounds really dorky and believe me, it looks pretty dorky too. But again, this is inspired by Charlie's Angels and we were very good at yeah, looking. You know, everybody wanted, we had a girl in our class that looked so much like Farrah Fawcett that, you know, all the guys thought she was super, super hot, and, and she was really very pretty. 
um, very pretty. You know, she had beautiful angles on her face. She's very small. Um, just, just pretty as could be. Uh, there's a chunk. Again, we're running it. Hearns in the background. That's the music you're hearing. My little soloist. You're running it. The curling iron has to go back. Now, you cannot put it forward. I should, I should definitely tell my friends from high school to take a peek at this one because it's the blast from the past. I keep sitting it on the table next to me so I can comb my hair out. I could go over to my table, but this afternoon the lighting gets kind of weird. And okay. Not that my lighting isn't weird and funky all, all the time, but you know. And this is Middle America, you know. The only thing we had to go on as far as fashion was Tiger Beat Magazine. And that was more about the cute guys. And... <laughs> That's such a hoot. And, you know, limited... My mother got Vogue. So it was a sort of... Bizarre... I mean, Women's Wear Daily, I'm sorry. She got Women's Wear Daily. And it came once a week back then, and it looked like a newspaper. And it had, you know, all the shows were in it, and all the models, and one of these really, the most attractive models of that time, I can't remember her name, her name it was Karen something or other. She was really super skinny. This was before the supermodel. And her thigh was as big around as her calf, and there was no little fat thing that goes up. You know how your your calf can go up and then it, your thigh gets larger? That didn't happen with her. I used to sit there and look at her thighs. But I've now come to the point in my life where I realized that I could lose another 30 pounds and be like, that would make me 80, right? And I would still have chunky looking thighs. That's just who I am. So I would never do that. I'm not, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not even remotely interested in that. My, my, my goal is to stay where I want to stay. In fact, actually, I'm up a couple pounds right now because Mother Nature gave me a gift. All right, seven minutes and 23 seconds. Now, now what do you do with it? It's all curled. Seven minutes to curl. You have to brush it out with a vent brush. I swear to God, this was a big thing. This was invented back then. And this was a Vidal Sassoon must-have. And Vidal Sassoon was everybody's dream hairdresser. It's like, it's, Ken Paves has nothing on Vidal Sassoon. He's Jessica Simpson's hair guy. Oh, God, can he do her hair or what? She has the most gorgeous hair. She wears wigs and hair pieces, and she's not afraid of it. She's not afraid of anything new. I just, you know. All right, there you go, everybody. If it's not fair, it's certainly Kate Jackson. Right? Yeah, I think. But it's it's Charlie's Angels. Star Wars. Give me a call, Charlie. Merry Christmas to you too. Yeah. Happy Annika. Yeah. Is he still alive?